the realest coming out the north, our dog. And I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. For real. They tell me hold on, yeah. but I can't hold on. Just got up off the phone when Mari told me that my bro gone. I told my dog, let's go. All right, so we got the one and only Art Dog jumping off the porch with us today. Welcome, man. Yes, sir. What's up? What's the word? It's the realest, name. The realest. How you feeling today, bro? I'm feeling good. You know, I'm feeling blessed, for real. Yeah. Blessed. Nah, that's what's good, man. So welcome to the porch, man. You got a lot of folks up there with you. You want to go ahead and shout them out so everyone knows who you came to support you, too? <laughs> man, shout out all my niggas, bro. My niggas from Florida came up with me, bro. All my, all my peoples. These are all my peoples, for real, though. Like, hmm. These are my people. And what's crazy is I just met all of them yesterday for the first time, for real. For real? Like, I knew them all over the gram on Instagram, you know. Hmm. Been talking on the gram and all that, but we've been locked in. Like, my man Birdie, we've been locked in for the, for the longest now. And my cousin, my cousin Ty, you know, it's my cousin, so, you know. Yeah. That's, that's for life. So I've been knowing him. But, uh, shoot, I really met everybody, all, everybody yesterday, but, shoot, it feel like I've been knowing them forever, for real, for real. That's what's crazy, like. It's just, we just locked in like that though, like. Nah, that's a good feeling. And I knew Ghazi too, I knew Ghazi, I've been knowing Ghazi. Okay. That's my cousin too. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Nah, this is good, man. Yeah, so what else you got planned while you're here in, uh, in Atlanta? You doing anything else while you're in the city? Sure, we supposed to be shooting some videos, you know, just locking in the studios. You know, we just out here enjoying it. It's my uh, first time in, out here in Atlanta, for real. Oh, for real? Yeah, I came out here when I was younger, but I drove through, that was on my way to Florida. Hmm. I drove through here, but that one, I didn't really count that, you know, because all I seen, all I really remember seeing was like the little Coca-Cola, uh, what you call it, building. Yeah. That, that, yeah, that's all I, yeah, yeah that's, I remember that, that, that's all I remember seeing, my grandma pointing it out, you know, but this is my first time really being out here, like, chilling, vibing, you know, I like the vibes out here, you know. Oh, yeah. I hopped off the plane yesterday, boy. Shit, it ain't cold. It ain't cold. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Cold. It's been weird this week. Like it's not. It hasn't been that cold, man. Yeah, Michigan warm. boy. Yeah, they, I, tell I them saw like, y'all had all that snow up there. Ain't, so. It ain't. It ain't nothing. This ain't nothing, bro. <laughs> this ain't nothing, for real. Yeah. So what part of Michigan are you from? I was born and raised in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Let me say that again. I was born and raised in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Not Detroit. Not Flint. Not Sterling Heights, not Pontiac, whatever, no, nah. Ann Arbor, Ace 2, A2, Ace Deuce, North Side, North Side right. to be exact. North Side. For real. Okay. So, like, I've never been to Ann Arbor. Can you put me on? Like, what's it like uh, up there? So, so, really, a lot of people will say, like, Ann Arbor, this, that, and the third, you know, like, it's five minutes away from Ypsilanti. A lot of people, if, uh, you probably won't even know what Ypsilanti is, neither, but, shoot, like, if you, if you don't know Ann Arbor, you know Ypsil Ypsilanti, basically. And Ypsilanti, basically, like, probably, like, the, I'll say, like, the rougher, rougher version of Ann Arbor. Okay. But, like, re recently, Ann Arbor getting, been getting a little wicked, though. Like, it's been, like, people dropping, but. Culture change. I, all I can say, for real, on my side, shoot, it ain't, it ain't the best side to come on for on the north side. Like, you ask anybody out there in Ann Arbor about my hood, Arrowwood, to be exact, they're going to tell you what it's like, and they're going to tell you for real. So it's like. I can't really speak on the whole Ann Arbor because, for real, all my life I grew up in the north side. Hmm. Like, grew up on the north side of Ann Arbor. So it was just like, all I knew was that, for real. Yeah. So what were some of your hobbies as a kid growing up? Like, were you into sports? Were you always into music? Or what was you doing? Shoot, I was always into music. My brother right here, the one who put me on to this rap shit, for real. Okay. Like, he'd tell you, like, he was washing dishes and, you know, <coughs> Listening to he listening to Tupac, bro. I'm like, this is just a ride. <laughs> I'm like, who? The, I'm like, who that? Like, what's that? And he telling me the song and everything. He telling me where to go look it up at and go listen to it. And I'm just listening to it. I'm like, yeah, bro, this hard, bro. I gotta, I can, I can do something on these type of beats. Like, I like this, cause you know I'm always. I used to listen to Michael Jackson like every day. Like, that's all I used to listen to. Michael Jackson, you know. Man. But like, really, for real, out there, all we really did, like. Just regular shit, you know, like I tell people like out growing up in my neighborhood was really like a movie for real. Like it's really like a movie. We did everything in the movies. Like everything. I really say like Arrowwood was like a real comparison of Friday, bro. Like swear to God, like hmm. everything they did in Friday, we was doing out there in the hood. That's it. Like so like everything we was everything we that's why I feel like everybody loved Friday, though, because like in their hood, like yeah, it was relatable. It was so relatable. Yeah. So it's like. I was just, 
You know, we, we just was like just some young, young, dumb kids, you know, just doing whatever for real, bro. Cops and robbers, you know, throwing rocks at people's windows, you know, ding dong ditch, kicking doors down while we ding dong ditching. Like we banging on the door so hard, they door falling down and now they chasing us up the street and shit like that, bro. Like, <laughs> we really out there, like, we really out there wilding for real, like, you know, just doing whatever. Yeah. When would you say you jumped off the porch then? How old were you? Shoot, I was just talking about this shit the other day. Man, because I was watching one of your interviews and I'm like, damn, bro. A lot of people will say, like, for real, like, jumping off the porch is when they picked up their first blunt and start smoking it. Like, I felt that for real. Like, that's, that's not, in my opinion, that's not jumping off the porch for real. Like, anybody can go pick up some weed and smoke it. Mm -hmm. So, like, I really say my, when I jumped off the porch, like, start really getting into shit that I wasn't supposed to be getting into, was when I was like probably like 14, 15, for real, for real. Okay. And did you go to college after school or what did you do after school? Man, I, I lasted one week. One week at college? <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Asked my brother. He Man, telling me. out. Bro, bro, <laughs> telling me every day, bro, go to class, go to class, go to class, bro. You need to go to class. I'm just making money, bro. I'm really like, like, I'm for real, like, really was just making money, bro. Like, hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't sit still. I'm, I'm getting in college. I'm like, this the same shit I was just learning not five, four or five months ago in high school. <laughs> what am I here for? By the time I get done with this, music gonna be over with for me, so hmm. fuck this shit. I'm yeah. done. And what would you say were like some of the trials and tribulations you had to overcome in your life so far? Staying focused for real. You know, trying to dodge the bullshit. You know, it's just been a lot of bullshit in my life. You know, that, you know, that knocked me off to what I'm supposed to be doing right now. So I just feel like staying on the right track and just doing, going forward. Like, not letting nobody knock me off. You know, get away from the fake vibes, fake energy, and just separate myself from that and just stay focused for real. Yeah, I feel that. So do you remember your first studio session, like the first song that you recorded? Hell yeah. Shit, I wasn't even in the studio for real though. Like, yeah. <laughs> Is that the house? Right at yeah. the crib. It was at the crib, bro. Yeah. And I don't even think that, not even at the crib, bro. That was, it was at, at Clay. Right in the uh, choir class. In the choir classroom. For real? Yes. What, in like high school? No, middle, middle school. school. Middle school. I was, school. In, I was okay. in seventh grade, I was 13. That's it. Shout out Miss Hoshella. She let you record? Yes, sir. She gave, she gave me the laptop, MacBook laptop. She was like, let me do my thing. And uh, I, I, used to, I used to come, I used to, because she used to let me rap for the class. She used to let me <laughs> Anybody in Ann Arbor, bro, they know at Clegg Middle School, I was that guy, bro. I used to rap at all the assemblies, every talent show. I'm talking about when they used to bring the sixth graders to come visit the school and come get them to come to the school. They'd have me come perform to get them to come to the school. <laughs> like, party, every And little, she was man. the one setting all that up. Miss Hoshella, shout out Miss Hoshella. She was setting, up, setting that up, going to the principal, telling them. And so when I came to her and I was like, I'm trying to record this song. I was like, all I need is the computer. I know how to work the garage band. During her, I'm, I came up there during lunchtime. She was like, she gave that boy to me, told me, do your thing. And you know, I had the little Apple headphones, you know, the little, the little Apple, the string ones, mm -hmm. the wire ones, and I plugged them boys up, recorded on that little mic, you know, how we got busy, for real. Yeah. And I made my first song, it was to the uh, Kodak Black, there he go beat. Oh, for real? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that bitch went like, every time you see me, I'm surrounded by my homies. <laughs> yeah, probably could have cussed in the class, yeah. huh? Florida. For real. Florida. That's how that, I swear, that's how that bitch went, bro. I dropped that boy, you know that. I got you. It went up from there. I was going up from there. Every, every day I was going in her classroom using that, Mac, that little MacBook. And then it went from that to my dad buying me my first microphone. Hmm. And then I was recording at the crib in the living room. And just straight thugged out. Right there on the TV, right there on the wall. Little sister running around the house, they in the kitchen do people doing the dishes. I'm still right there recording, locked in that's all it. day, every day. Like, that's just how it always been with me. Like, I always had my own little setup. Like, I have my always had my own little setup studio. So, like, I always been able, to, been able to record at my crib and shit like that. Like, I ain't start going to the real studio until I was like 16, 15, 16. Like, 17 for like really locking in the studio. Like, I was really out here just on the at the home, at the crib, and really only started going to the real studios because my, my engineer telling me like, bro, this, 
this not gonna work no more. Like, mm. yo, Mike, not yo, Mike, ass for real kind. That's basically what he's <laughs> saying. Need that yo, quality, Mike, yeah. Yeah, you need that quality. So I had to start coming out that bread and start going to the studio. Yeah. yeah. And how do you get the name Art Dog, or is that something you came up with? <laughs> Shit, nah. My uncle gave me that name for real. My uncle and my dad, you know. From all I can really remember though, like I ain't even gonna lie, like when I was young, shoot, I didn't have like hella rap names though, but like that was my first rap name when I first started off, and then I started switching in, and then I just then I went back to it. But like my uncle and my dad used to just always call me Art Dog for real, like Art Dog, Art Dog, Art Dog, <laughs> do shit like that, like little dumb shit in the crib, and it just you know that's just how. I just stuck with it. I just and I, I fucked with Snoop Dogg. That's how I put the little two G's at the end. Okay. Cause yeah. Snoop Dogg had the two G's, and I was like, when I spelled it, it looked weird with one G. So I was like, and then I didn't want it D A Y G, cause that looked I ain't like that. So, you know, it just looked perfect with A R T D O G G. I got gotcha. you. And what is uh, 4 G M B? 4 G M B, you know, it's some shit, you know. My brother Imani, Imani Bates, you know, he play, uh, he in the NBA play for the Cleveland Cavaliers right now. Okay. He, uh, shout out to my bro, my brother for life. We from the same hood, everything grew mm -hmm. up together. But some shit he came up with, you know, for, forever got my brothers, that's what it stand for. We all got it tatted on us. Me, my, me, my brother JK, my brother Joe, Imani and my brother Imag, and my brother right here. He finna get his tattoo, but we all got it tatted on us. It's just a matter of time, you know. Okay. Yeah. This shit, like for life, you know, it's some shit that we all stand behind. You know, we we got each other's backs for life. You know, we ain't never gonna fold. We ain't never gonna. We was with each other from the from the bottom. You know, when we ain't have shit. You know, shit. My my niggas was with me. You know, my niggas was there when I. You know, niggas was shooting at me for real. So it's like, them were the only niggas who had my back for real. So it's like, there's some shit. When that when that shit didn't happen, I went and said, "Fuck it, I'm going to go get the tat." My nigga Imani had called me, he had the tat on his hand, and my nigga JK had the tat on his hand. It turned me up, so I went and got the tat on my arm right here. Bro. I dig that, man. So what's your creative process like? Do you write your <laughs> raps, do you punch in, or do both? I just punch in. Okay. I, I used to write when I first started off, you know. I had my brother, you know. I can't I, remember the last time I ever wrote a song. <laughs> for real, for real though. But I had like a shoebox of raps, like for real, literally. Like I used to just write them in notebooks, hella notebooks. And still just, got them. Still got them to this day. But like I don't, write, I don't write no more. I mean, it, I like to punch in. It's a better vibe to me, you know. I get in the vibe better, you know. I, I start snapping harder and go harder when I punch in. For real. Okay. Now, when do you feel like you make your best music? Then it's like when you're good mood, or you pissed off at someone, or you going I through some real life lie, shit, bro. or. She. When I be beefing with. Shorty and <laughs> you know, pissed off for real. I be getting in that mode, but nah, for real though, like really when I'm just like down, I feel like I make the best music. Like I'm down or I'm happy. Like I really make me good music whenever for real though. Like I ain't even gonna say when I'm in a whenever mood, cause like I'm a real artist. Like I can make music whenever. Like right now if we we can go make a hit. Like, I don't really, I can't really say what mood because I make music in whatever mood. I got you, man. Uh, you just dropped a new single, Al Capone, man. <laughs> Talk about this song. What was the inspiration for this one? That day I was bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is up real, but shit. I was, I was really in the studio. I recorded, recorded like five songs. I was at the crib, for real. And for real though, I thought that song was gonna be ass. Like, you know, like when I recorded it, I was like, bro, this not gonna be, this ain't, this ain't nothing for real. I don't, this is just some, some regular shit, you know, some, some shit. This ain't no hit for real. But then when that bitch came back from my engineer and I listened to that bitch, I'm like, okay. But then I started sending it out to all my brothers and shit, my niggas. And they like kept calling me, telling me like, damn bro, like bro, this, Bro, you gotta drop this shit, bro. Like, you really gotta drop this shit. And then I went and posted a snippet on the gram. And this is when I ain't posted, I ain't had posted on the, on the gram, on Instagram for like three, four months. So like, my shit, my, my gram page was probably like dead for real. That bitch went up like within 24 hours. Like, or had over a hundred comments, shit, a thousand likes and shit. I'm like, I joined a little triller. I did a triller to that bitch. 
I'm like, hell yeah, I gotta shoot a video. This is gonna be the video, cause like I ain't shot a video. That video I shot in that song was like the first video I shot like in a couple months. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm just gonna be the song I'm gonna do and push this bitch right here. Cause everybody, everybody fucking with it. Every time I posted a little snippet, people telling me to drop it, like when this coming out. So it's like, yeah, it's that one. Nah, that shit hard too, man. I also fuck with that song Statement too, man. That shit crazy. Hell yeah, that was, shit, I was mad that day too. I was trying to make a statement. <laughs> shit. He was pissed. Moves right for real. Yeah. When I made that song, for real, <coughs> I mean, for what's crazy about when I dropped that song, I made that song like two years ago. For real. For real. Like, I made that song like. What was that, on like, the Ford and North thing? Yeah, yeah. I made that song like two years ago. Like, and for that song, I was just really trying to talk about like, because everybody was just basically trying to play me like, for real, around the city. Like, I wasn't like, I wasn't that guy, for real. Hmm. Like, I ain't start this shit, for real. Like, Everybody know, like, that's why I be saying, if you, if you from Ann Arbor, Ipsy, you, you know Art Dog. It's, it's no way around it. Like, so, like, people trying to downplay me, like, I'm hearing shit through the grapevine, you know? So I'm like, I'm finna go lock in and drop some shit. And that's what I did. Yeah, look like you got good feedback on that one, too, man. Yeah, I got a lot of good feedback, you know? But that's just how this shit go, man. Like, every time I drop a song, like, re for, like, recently, it's been getting, like, a lot of good feedback from me, like, it's been going how I've been wanting it to go, for real, like, so I just, that's why I just, just keep my head down, really, and just keep pushing, for real. Yeah. What about that Better Days? That shit was hard, too. I made that song, really. <coughs> my mom, like, my mom, she had, uh, she was depressed and shit a lot, so me and her was talking. I really made that song for her. Like, it was some better days, you know, it's gonna be better days for us, you know? I had a whole little camera crew for that video and everything. I've spent like probably a thousand on that video, like, I'm just letting her know, like, we gonna go up, I'm, we gonna, I'm gonna change, we gonna, I'm gonna change things for real. Yeah. It's gonna be better days. What was her reaction when she heard it? She loved that song, you know? Oh. My mom loved all my songs, you know? My mom's so really supportive of this shit, man. You know, when she heard I was coming down here, she was geeked. She was happy as hell, you know? So my mom, she got my back. She always got my back. That's my rider for real. No, that's all right there. Uh, so should fans expect a new project from you or are you kind of just focusing on singles and videos right now? Sure, yeah, I'm, you know, I got a project, you know, I'm, feel me? I got a project on the way, you feel me? But it's not coming out like anytime soon. Right now I'm just focusing on singles. You okay. know, I'm gonna try to drop singles, build some momentum. You know, get some more buzz around outside the city, you know, you know, more around, you feel me, really out here, you know, really around the big states where it's popping at. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just trying to get my name out there. So, you know, like, I don't really feel like the tape it right now is the right thing, the right route to go. But, you know, one foot in, one foot out will be on the way. You know, y'all be on the lookout for that. That shit will be on the way. But right now I'm just dropping singles, you know, hot shit though, all hot shit. Okay, yeah. And who are some of the producers you've been working with lately? So man, I've been working with this the ten, the the producer for the last song. Uh, YB. <laughs> YB. Yeah, we finna lock in with YB. That's one of them. Yeah, that's one of the producers we finna lock in right. Uh, while we out here in the A, YB. Shout out YB. He gonna pull it off. Yeah, we gonna work with him. You know, we got some shit on the flow with him. But you know, I've been uh, I got some uh, I've been working with like really city producers. You know, shit out out in. Uh, out in Michigan, really. I got, okay. shout out to uh, Tenfo, you know, Tenfo. Shout out to uh, Newts, my baby Newts. He a little nigga, he like seventh grade, you know, 13 for real, little Damn. nigga. Making beats, knockers. He got real. that heat? Heat, for real, shout out Newts, bro. He got that shit. Okay. You know, I be just, I really just, and my, and my man, uh, Sammy Sosa, you know, Sam Sosa, hmm. you know. I like in with all producers from my city, you know. I really don't be on the YouTube beats for real no more. <laughs> but those are the producers I really lock in with when I need some shit. Okay. And what's the music scene like in Ann Arbor right now today? Everybody fucking rapping. For real. <laughs> Everybody in the world trying to rap, though. I feel like, bro, and that's the thing, though, like, everybody in Ann Arbor trying to rap. 
And that's cool, like, at the end of the day. I respect everybody hustle. I ain't gonna knock nobody hustle, knock anybody's talent or whatever it is. But it be the ones that, that shouldn't be rapping trying to rap. <laughs> I ain't even gotta say it. Bro, twin already know. For what? real, like. It just be the ones who just don't need, really be just, you feel me? It ain't it. And I feel like that's what, for the niggas like me, and shout out PJ1K, shout out Lil Dill, you know, niggas like that, you feel me? It's hard to break that. And shout out Trizzy, North Boy Trizzy, it's hard to break that, you feel me? Door open, cause it's, it's like people blowing up who ain't meant to blow up. And I ain't, I mean, I ain't even trying to sound like no hating ass nigga for real, but it's just like, that's how I feel. At the end of the day, I'ma speak my truth. And I feel like it's just like niggas who just blowing up, just blowing up and then it is what it is, but at the end of the day, I just feel like time gonna tell for me. So like, I just, that's why I always keep pushing. Like I ain't never let no nigga knock what I'm doing or I never paid attention to what no other nigga doing or nothing like that. I just do, do my thing. And that's why I feel like I'm here right now and off the porch, I'm the first nigga from Ann Arbor. First nigga from Ips, from, and no nigga from Ypsilanti, like, you feel me? Like probably one, one person from Ypsilanti, but like, you know, one of the first niggas from my city to be out here doing this. So, you know, it's like, I got this shit on my back for real. Yeah. So, you know, like, I'm just, I just stay in my own lane at the end of the day. I got for you. Real, for real. What do you feel like it's gonna take for you to get to that next level then? I really feel like it's just staying focused. That's what, like I said before, like, that's what I feel like. Cause you know, like, I had a song with All-Star JR, you oh, yeah. know. That shit was hard too. You know, and that shit could have, you feel me? After that, I could have capitalized off of that, you know, but like, at the end of the day, I ain't gonna say it was all, you feel me, it was all me. I had some fucked up niggas in my corner managing me. Hmm. So it was like, you feel me? It, nah. hmm. I'm with fam now though. TNT, we all Pokemon. See what the shirts say though? So like, you know, we just, we just vibing right now, we chilling. So like, I ain't really stressing on none of that, you know, but I feel like it's just staying focused. It's what's gonna take to the, get to the next level. Yeah. Just keep dropping, you know, stop going, drop. Like what I usually will do is like, I be fucking going ghost and shit. I gotta stop going ghost and shit. You know, I gotta just stay focused. You know, I just gotta keep doing my thing. Yeah, that Real consistency focus. is key in this shit, bro. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, I went consistent. Hmm. I was consistent at one point. I feel like that's what got my buzz. And then, you feel me? Cause I was making hella paper off distro kid, you know? So like, for real, for real, I could vouch, you know? I was making, broken vouch, twin can vouch. I was making hella paper off distro kid. So like, I, I was consistent at first, but then I just stopped. Cause I was feeling like I'm like big as hell, you know, my head getting big. And so like, cause I'm around the city, niggas ask and take pictures with me and shit. You know, I'm, my head getting big, so like, I stopped dropping and shit, you know, like, I feel like that's what fucked me up. And then I had, like I said, I had fucked up management. So it was like, at the end of the day, it was just fucking up my shit. Yeah. So, was, you know. Would you say this is the most, you know, focused you've been on this music shit then? Hell yeah. Right now, like, I feel like that's why it's been going how it's supposed to go. All right, so all right, like, what, what's some of your goals for your music career, whether it's short term or long term, man? What are you trying to accomplish here? You know, long term for real, Platinum album, number one album, you know, that's long term shit, you know, Damn. you know, for real. But like right now, you know, my goals is, you know, just staying consistent, you know, start making more money off my music for real, you know, to the point where I'm making real, real paper off this shit, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm getting money right now, you know, I'm good at the end of the day, but I want to shit, I want to be an artist at the end of the day, real artist, you know, getting that show money really making a bag off this shit. So it was like, so I could take care of my people, so take care of my family. Yeah. So like, that's my goal right now, just staying consistent so I can get my foot in the door, get to that next level. You know, just keep pushing, keep dropping, keep dropping hot shit like yeah. I'm doing right now. I feel that, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to go ahead and plug your social media so everyone knows where to follow you at? Shit, y'all niggas can follow me at Art Dogs Official on Instagram. You feel me? You can follow me at Our Dogs Official on the TikTok, you know? You getting money off that shit too, you know? Those are my socials, the only socials I'm on. I ain't got a Facebook. 
who the fuck uses Facebook? <laughs> You'll be surprised. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Like in Memphis, Facebook is huge for them artists. They be on that shit more than on the gram. I might, hey though, I might, you feel me, turn it over to the Facebook eventually, but I ain't got no Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got any shout outs you want to give before we wrap it up here? So, you know, I just want to shout out my twin brother, you feel me, right here for coming out with me. I want to shout out all my family back home in Ann Arbor. You know, I love all y'all, you feel me? I appreciate y'all for supporting me, you know? Shout out to everybody who stayed down with me through the hard times, you know? This shit, the beginning right here. We gonna go up. Free BRB. Me? You know, yeah, free BRB, nigga. Free Trace, you yeah. know? Long live my nigga Kenny. Long live flames on the chain right here. Long live flames. Long live Tyrese. Feel me? That's my brother. Feel me? Long live all the guys, you know. Long live Kenny, you know. All the bros. Long live real. It's for real. They tell me hold on, yeah. but I can't hold on. Just got up off the phone with Mari. Told me that my bro gone. I told my dog, let's go, we on.